hello friends in this video i am going to show you that how you can take the clone from git and how you can uh, take the checkout from git right so these are the two fundamental commands that uh, i am going to implement in this video and definitely these are really important and uh, basic commands which everybody need to know uh, who is going to use the git hub right so first command is uh, git clone right so over here uh, the only thing that you have to keep in mind is that uh, if you want the whole repository into your system then that means you have to take the clone of that specific repository into your system by using this git clone command right this, this is the simple meaning and git checkout means you you must have uh, uh, you must have to take the clone already into your system and then after you can implement this uh, specific command git checkout for example uh, you have uh, taken already the clone uh, but uh, you have made some changes and don't uh, right now you don't want uh, all those changes of yours but instead of that what you want is you want that uh, all the things must be uh, again uh, from the online repository so at that time uh, you have to take the git checkout so once you use this command then the whole updated thing whichever would be uh, on the repository that would be updated onto your system if your if the code of your system is uh, um, is a little bit buggy or might be there are certain problems that you have uh, that are created because of change which you done into your code so if you will get the uh, get the ch uh, git checkout then the uh, whole file will would be repaired means uh, the replaced by the actual file which is on repository right so uh, let's begin so here is the screen as you have already seen that i am in the actually this is my account and here is the repository which i have created repo one so earlier i have already uploaded three more videos so in those videos i have created a repository so into that repository uh, we have one test.html uh, file and uh, right now we are going to implement uh, clone command and git checkout so already i mentioned that what does clone mean so right now i am going to take the clone of uh, this whole repository into my system local system so actually uh, the this file is not uh, this file is not existing into my system right so what i want is that uh, the whole repository must be into my system so i am going to copy this url once you will click on clone or download you can also download but uh, the best way is to take the git uh, uh, clone right so once you will click then whole uh, url would be selected and then after you have to copy from here and go to the command prompt and over here uh, what i am going to do is cd downloads and inside the downloads i am going to make a directory mkdir repo for example i am uh, going to create a uh, folder of project so now you will find out that project named folder is there and inside the project folder what you have to do is uh, you have to write a command git clone right so inside uh, yeah, once you will write git clone then after you have to right click and paste the whole url of your repository and then after you have to key uh, enter uh, key press the enter key and the whole data has been updated into your system actually that uh, whole repository is uh, also copied to your local system so let's see where is that repository so now you can see that this is the project folder that i uh, created by command prompt and inside of that i have the repository repo1 and inside that repo1 we have test.html and you can see that hello world actually this file inside the, this file i have i have already written some code so that code is reflected once i will run that uh, specific uh, file right so this is actually called as git clone 
right so uh, for example uh, let's see let's say uh, I'm going to change certain things uh, into this specific file right so I'm going to open uh, this file into the editor for example edi uh, yes this is the editor right so repository testing and hello world this is actually already written but I'm going to add some code here for example p tag and then uh, here I am writing I am updating something something right so once I will save and then once you will run this test.html then you can see that hello world I am updating something but in the repository if you will see then uh, here if you will click you will find that repository testing and hello world there is only single line hello world right you will never find any other code because you haven't uh, pushed any code from to from your system to the online repository right onto the github but we have updated into our system that in the inside the test html we have written some uh, paragraph where i have written i am updating something but uh, in some cases for example you made changes and right now i don't want these changes i want the uh, original file which is on the uh, github for example this this code i want this code only rather my change code so how you will do is there is the command called as git checkout so for example uh, what you have to do is you have to go inside your repository ls cd repo 1 and now i am inside my repository right so then after what you have to do is git checkout and you have to uh, name that file test.html right so this is the uh, html file which i want to take the checkout of that right checkout means the original file which is on the online github repository i want that file rather uh, using my own file right so once i will press enter then that whole file has been replaced by the online repository file so let me check once again for example you will notice here test.html actually i have only took the checkout once you will double click you will find only hello world that paragraph line has been uh, removed from this why because that was not existing on the original repository right here is only hello world here was not any paragraph so the paragraph has been added by me only into my local system so for example i have added some code because of which i'm getting error and uh, and, and after some time i found that uh, my code has uh, created certain problems so at that time uh, uh, we want that we needed some uh, we needed the fresh co code which is already uh, into the repository so at that time we use this specific command git checkout right so i think that you uh, understood both these commands which were really important and even uh, i am thinking that uh, in the next video i will uh, i will make you sure about push and pull those are also uh, important commands and in which you will learn a lot but these are also important which i already taught you because git clone is something like you want the whole uh, repository from online to offline offline in the sense into your system local system and uh, git checkout i already mentioned that for example you already took the clone but uh, due to some reason you want the original file uh, and you have already the file which is old file and you have done some modification but you don't want those, those modifications and you want the original file into your local system so at that time you will use git checkout and you have to mention specific file name for example i had the uh, file test.html so i have used that right so for this video this is enough and in the next video we will uh, find 
some more commands which are really important thank you so much for watching this video all the links of my video courses are below in the description which are absolutely free so in the next video we would learn new and wonderful things please subscribe this channel firstly to get the information of updated videos in the comment section you can write your feedback about the video and also write your queries if you have any have a nice day ahead